This is part five of the series, The Truth About Tithing. In this series, I'm telling everyone the truth about tithing. We are not required to tithe. God does not expect a tithe from Christians today. And I'm proving it by the scriptures. Uh, <clears throat> in this session, uh, I hope to cover two tithes. I told you at the beginning that there were four tithes. All right, some might count five, but for sure there are four tithes. Okay. Um, uh, and I'm going through each one of them, showing you the scripture for each one. Uh, this is part five, as I said. Um, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The uh, I've already covered one tithe, all right. And so I'm starting here with the second one. This is the Levites' tithe of the tithe, all right. The um, uh, the first uh, tithe that I covered was the Levitical tithe that uh, talked about the tithe of the crops and the tithe of animals, not money. Now, the, um, uh, the second part I'll cover in this, like I said, would be the festival tithe. All right? Now, quick, let's take a look at these charts. The charts I provided for you, you can download for free from my website. You can download them for free. You should have at least two of them uh, available right now. The, the one chart, um, required tithes under the law. You should have that, and then also the one labeled tithing verses. Tithing verses. If you have those two with you right now, they'll help you as to follow along with this presentation, and you can make your notes on there, etc. Uh, so hopefully you have those charts. Uh, let me read you the scripture that uh, talks about uh, the Levites' tithe of the tithe. We find that in Numbers chapter 18, starting in verse 25. Okay, Numbers chapter 18, starting in verse 25, I'll read it. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Levites and say to them, When you receive from the Israelites the tithe I give you as your inheritance, you must present a tenth of that tithe as the Lord's offering. Your offering will be reckoned to you as grain from the threshing floor or juice from the winepress. In this way, you also will present an offering to the Lord from all the tithes you receive from the Israelites. From these tithes you must give the Lord's portion to Aaron the priest. You must present as the Lord's portion the best and holiest part of everything given to you. End of the scripture there. Now, uh, <clears throat> let me just uh, highlight a few things that, that are in this scripture. V at the very beginning, in verse 25, speak to the Levites. The Bible means what it says. These were instructions to the Levites. These weren't instructions that Levites were to turn around and tell somebody else. No, this is what the Levites were supposed to practice. This is what the Levites were supposed to do themselves. All right? <clears throat> Earlier, when I, when I read about the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, Levitical tithe, the Levitical tithe is talking about the tithes that go to the Levites. The Levites didn't give to themselves. They were not included in the first tithe. Let's think about that. The Levites, the, one who, the ones who receive the tithes, God was not directing the Levites to give yourself a tithe. No. He, he was talking to the other tribes to say, you people, Israelites, from the other tribes, you give your tithe of crops and animals to the Levites. Now, um, uh, so they receive those tithes. Okay. Now, what we read here is that they were then to take, uh, <clears throat> take what they had received, all right, crops and animals, divided in ten equal parts, that would be a tenth or a tithe, okay? Take the best part of what you received, the best part, and give that to the priest. All right, let me explain something else here. The um, uh, two things. One, the Levites didn't always receive the best. Remember, I already covered that. You know, it was a tenth animal under the rod. wasn't always the best animal. 
All right. Uh, but what they received, they had to turn around and give the best of that. No doubt about it. That's what it says right here. Uh, <clears throat> also, the, 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 we need to keep in mind that um, the, uh, the, the, the division between Levites and priests. Who were the priests? Okay, The priests were Levites too. But the priests also were not included in the earlier discussion about tithe. You know, they didn't, they weren't included in that earlier discussion. They're also not included in this dis discussion so far as they're giving. They're included, the priests are included in this discussion as far as they're receiving the tithe. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so the priests, where did they come from? Uh, the priests were descendants of Aaron. What we read there in, in verse 28, from these times you must give the Lord's portion to Aaron the priest. Right? And the implication is, I mean, they didn't stop, the Levites didn't stop, I'm sorry, yes, the Levites did not stop tithing after Aaron died. No, that's not what it means. It means that Aaron the priest and his descendants, right, and his descendants. So, um, and you'll see other scripture to support that. I won't go over that right now. Uh, but the, the priests continued. They didn't stop just because Aaron died. Okay, the, the priests continued. That lineage continued. You had to be, in order for you to be, be a priest, you had uh, you had to be a descendant of of Aaron. Now, it didn't matter how good a Levite you were. Right, the Levites had duties around the tabernacle, duties around the temple. You know, they clean, they collect the money, they they move stuff, they move things around. You could have been the best Levite going. All right, you clean, you collected, you did everything better than everybody else. Congratulations. That's what you're supposed to do. But you're not getting promoted to a priest. Didn't matter how much you begged, wanted to, etc. You didn't get promoted to a priest. You had to be born that way, as a child of uh, uh, in Aaron's lineage, okay, in Aaron's line. Then you would be a priest. In fact, you would be a priest whether you wanted to or not. All right, you didn't get the vote on whether or not you wanted to be a priest. You might have looked at your older brothers or your uncles and said, "I don't want to do that." That wasn't an option for you, okay. Not an option for you. Uh, so there were two sides of, of that. Uh, you couldn't be promoted and you couldn't vote yourself out if you already were in. <clears throat> now, the, um, so you understand the priest was, was just a few, relatively few people. The priest did themselves, they did not tithe. They received tithes from the Levites. But they didn't turn around and give a por They themselves did not turn around and give a portion of that to anybody else. No, they received it. They consumed it. Okay? There were, <clears throat> yes, the poor were taken care of, but that was another way. It wasn't through that tithe. Okay? It wasn't through that. That's what they received. It stopped right there from what the Levites gave to the priest. Okay? So, the, um, um, uh, it's a, another group of people who didn't have to tithe. I covered some earlier. The priests did not tithe. Okay, um, no promotion. Uh, so the the term priest, as we hear it today, uh, in our modern world and Western civilization and in America, that priest you can call yourself what you want. Okay, but unless you got unless you have Aaron's blood in you, all right, you're not a real priest in this sense. Now I understand that um, uh, you know the scripture talks about believers, all Christians, all believers being a form of priest. Absolutely, absolutely. I have no quarrel with that. But I'm, I meant in a formal sense, the way it was laid out in the Old Test on the Old Testament before Christ's death, burial, and res resurrection. Okay. Um, so let me take a look at the. Uh, chart, uh, the uh, worksheet, the required tithes under the law. See if we've answered all these questions here. Uh, the first one I want to look at, uh, the name, I call it the Levite's Tithe of the Tithe. All right? And uh, you, you, hopefully you've written down the scripture where that came from, Numbers chapter 18, starting at verse 25. Who gave the tithe? It was the Levites gave it. Okay. Um, uh, and what did they tithe? A tenth of what was given them. Crops and animals. A tenth of what was given them. When did they do it? They did it at harvest time when they got the food. And 
I'm not sure when the tithe of animals occurred. So from on my personal chart, I put a question mark concerning the food, I'm sorry, 